Hi, I'm Ryan Neal from The Vulgar Skill. Welcome back. It's been a long time. Uh, first, let me apologize for taking so long to get another video out. I recently had a very long move, very involved move for work, and that took up a lot of my time and a lot of my training time, and that sort of made it difficult to put out videos, especially since the weather here is very temperamental. It's either blazing hot or it rains forever. Um, but Nonetheless, I'm glad to be back with you and putting out training material, and I've um, linked up with the club down here, and I'm hoping that I'll be able to put out some more Godinho interpretations in the future. Um, I'm going to begin here with uh, Godinho's Montante Chapter 2, which covers in a very narrow street. Now, this rule I'm about to show you, uh, it has a... Um, it's, it's used, as the name flies, in a very narrow street, Godinho straightforward like that, where you don't have room to cut. If you've ever been in an alley or a um, like a really narrow alley, especially in a, an older European city, you'll know that if you have a montante, which is a sword about as tall as you, you aren't really going to be cutting. So you'll notice that I take the sword straight over me and certain things about my footwork. Also, let me know if you like this video format, um, because I'm trying to add a bit more, a bit more, polish to uh, the videos. Um, I'm not really a video videographer and I'm not particularly experienced in it, but nonetheless, I uh, hope you enjoy and I hope you find it informative. Thank you. So we're going to pick up the montante as normal with our dominant hand on top and our off hand near the pommel, but not grabbing the pommel. Once we've taken it from our shoulder, we're going to enter a position where we sort of rest it over the crook of the arm, staying low. Then we're going to get, deliver a thrust, stepping nails up to one side, then thrusting to the other side. Notice that when I bring the sword over, it goes straight up so it doesn't bang it into any walls on either side of me. And you can just flow from one position to the other, putting the foot in, Staying low so that the sword doesn't carry you and so that you don't lose your balance. If you need to go in a particular direction, like you go to the weaker side by taking a little jump to each side. You can see I kind of skid here towards one side, basically fighting my way out of the alley by directing my thrusts to one side. Godinho says you can also do this on a galley gangway where you basically use the rowing or the slave benches as the walls. But he says if you're at the bow of the ship and you have them to one side, you just proceed like this, thrusting nails up, nails down as necessary, putting the foot in. If you need to know whether to go nails up or nails down, consult the earlier rules. So big points to take away are to stay low, which you should pretty much always do with the montante because the sword is heavy and it will carry you and move you or throw you off balance if you are light in your footwork or on or too too um, bouncy or raised up with your center of gravity. You see me favor kind of a horse stance position there, um, at the, which if you've done other martial arts, if horse stance or kiba dach or shiko, or shiko dach helps you remember that kind of thing. Um, go for it. Um, the other big takeaways are the sword should go straight up overhead, should not be banging into walls. Imagine again that your back is to one wall and then you go over and then you thrust and then your back is to the other wall. You won't have time to go side to side or the ability or the room to go side to side. Um, you thrust and put in the foot at the same time with a nails up thrust. And uh, finally, if you uh, see the weaker side, you should sort of take little jumps towards it to fight your way out of the alley because being quartered on either side in an alley is not exactly where you want to be. You want to fight to a better position. Uh, finally, there's sort of the language that Godinho throws away at the end after talking about how you can do it between benches. He mentions that if you're on the bow of a ship, you can deliver nails up, nails down, thrusts as necessary, putting in the foot. So... I suggest that you find an alley, uh, not one where your neighbors are going to be frightened by you swinging a sword or anything, or that police think there's some new um, West Side Story X-esque greatsword gang around. Um, but 
or draw some lines and force yourself to step within those lines or even do it on a bench. Uh, be careful doing it on a bench. Bring a friend to stabilize a bench or um, and uh, don't fall off it. I accept no liability if you fall off the bench. Um, so work up to that or and, you know, approach at your own risk. Uh, the um, But I hope you go out and you enjoy and practice this rule and uh, I'll join you next time for a uh, in a somewhat a street that is not very narrow, a somewhat narrow street, if you will. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you have a great day. And I'll see you next time on the Vulgar Skill. Thank you.